So you find yourself with a huge maintenance backlog and you're getting pressure from operations to get things done and pressure from your bosses to improve their KPIs by reducing the backlog all the while meeting your KPIs for job planning. Hi, my name is Greg McCumber. I'm a consultant for Idicon Inc. where we help people and organizations across the globe improve their reliability and maintenance management programs through common sense consulting and hands-on coaching. Every maintenance professional should strive to rise above reactivity. Effective planning and scheduling is one critical component to rising out of reactivity, aka the circle of despair. If you are here, you probably already know why maintenance planning is important. This video is about the how. For more information on the whys of maintenance planning, visit idcon.com and check out the videos and articles linked in the description, or stay tuned to the end for some other valuable planning resources. One of the struggles that comes with being reactive is an ever-growing backlog. We try to do the right things right and plan every job, but how will I ever plan it all? The good and possibly surprising news is you don't have to. There are certain jobs where the formal planning process isn't necessary because it's really just overkill and not cost effective. There is a certain category of jobs known as small jobs, which meet four criteria. This type of job is managed instead of planned, and as such, they do not need to go through the formal planning process. However, there are some controls that must be followed to prevent this job category from being abused. More on that later. Here is the criteria for a small job. One, requires no more than two human hours to complete. Two, parts and materials cost less than $200. Three, the job does not require shutdown. And four, the job does not require any modification of any equipment or processes. These are not hard and fast rules, but just an example. You should tailor your criteria to best meet your business needs. One important thing to note is that the criteria you choose for your organization must be documented and communicated for it to be effective and not to complicate things down the line. Now, let's discuss the management process for a small job with some contrast to the formal job planning process. The question we should ask right now is, who is responsible for managing small jobs? The short answer is, the maintenance supervisor. Firstly, a need for repair is identified that meets the small job criteria. Depending on your organization, the requester should notify the maintenance supervisor of the maintenance deficiency. After being notified of the work request, the maintenance supervisor assesses the urgency and the scope of the job, and possibly assigns the tradesperson to do this assessment in his or her place. If the assessment finds that the job does indeed meet the small jobs criteria, the maintenance supervisor assigns a tradesperson and schedules the job in a way that is compatible with the weekly or daily maintenance schedule. The cost and labor hours associated with the job should be applied to a standing work order that is assigned to a specific equipment or asset number instead of creating a unique work order. Just a note, small jobs should not be considered break-in jobs and experienced planners know to leave some flexibility within the schedule to allow for the small jobs that do come up. The next step is to perform the work. If something comes up during the job that is going to cause the job duration to exceed more than two hours or cost more than $200, everything should be returned to a safe and as functional as possible state and notify the maintenance supervisor that a formal work order will have to be created. The tradesperson will record the data for the portion of the work performed into the history of the standing work order so that the integrity of the asset history can be preserved and KPIs can be calculated. If you think this process will help you reduce your maintenance backlog or if you found value in this video, please do me a favor and let me know by giving it a like. Also, what are some maintenance topics you would like me to cover? Let me know in the comments. Just to recap, some key differences between small job management and the formal planning process is one managed by the maintenance supervisor instead of the planner. Two, a standing work order is used instead of creating a standard work order. Three, the job is scheduled by the maintenance supervisor rather than the scheduler. Four, there are controls unique to small job management that is not a part of the formal planning process. Five, there are also KPIs that only apply to small jobs. Take a look at this other video on prioritizing your efforts as a planner. Thank you for watching and remember to keep it simple.